my friends welcome to my channel it is tuesday and i welcome to another full spend the week with me what's some eating for dinner what's keto food what's happening kind of video <laughs> thank you so much for all the lovely comments on last week's video i really do appreciate it um so it is tuesday i did eat dinner yesterday offs um i forgot to show you take a photograph and all that stuff but basically it was a imagine a big plate of lamb chops <laughs> <laughs> basically i had like four of lamb chops and some in sauce and that was my tea it was it was really nice though every time i have lamb chops i forget how much i like them and then i buy them and go oh i fancy it but then i have them and they're lovely so i need to remember i do like lamb chops and they're really easy and and quick and stuff so that's awesome it's tuesday morning um well, about mid nearly midday and i haven't eaten today uh, I'm back to being good. Um, I had um, some chocolate. Oh, as Joe, one of my subscribers said, I went full chocolate, <laughs> which I thought was really funny. Yes, Joe, we went full chocolate this weekend. So I'm back to being um, well behaved again. Try and drink my water, which I'm struggling with, but I'm going to force it down. Have some um, keto toast. No, she's not eating for dinner, but I'm having. I've got this like loaf of. I did my freezer clear out. I've got. A half quarter loaf of this keto uh friendly bread it's 0.9 carbs which is handy and um, so i'm gonna have some keto toast um for brick lunch it's like 20 to 12 and this pate from the freezer from november obviously it's me um and again this week it is a final furlong to clear my freezer out it is making me so anxious that it's so empty now um and so i've got that to go i've got i think pie tonight so i think paul's got I don't know, something with chips. I've written it on the board. Um, so we are going for throttle for that. And that's kind of all that's really happening as far as I recall. I did, I, I think you also thought all the comments about the garden. Um, I did buy um, a new that table set, chair set. Really expensive. But they're really hard to buy at the moment. But I want some really nice outdoor furniture. So I spent loads of money, 400 and something pound um, yesterday. So that's coming at the end of May. So I'm excited about that, which is also motivating me to go outside. It's gone chilly though and get my garden tidied up. But that is it. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to have this toast, do a bit more work, do um, about 40 odd minutes at lunchtime, my lunchtime, um, of working out fitness stuff. I do, I'll spend about 15 minutes in the garden at lunch. I want to get some seeds put in a pot. I want to do some growing my own veggies this year. If you are growing your own, let me know what you're growing. You can grow lots of keto stuff. So I'm going to do all my herbs, chives, which are obviously great for cooking and sprinkling on salads and making that homemade um, sour cream and chive dip. Delicious. Um, and also I think I'm going to be doing garlic. Yeah, garlic, herbs and chives. I think are going to be down trying to get my seeds in, get those germinated. Anyway, I'll stop talking and I'll have my toast and I'll catch up with you guys in a sec. It's bloody snowing. I'm not happy. <laughs> I put all my seats in. <laughs> oh, poop. Well, uh, this is pretty, eh? We are on the home stretch for Wacky Dinners and today's Wacky Dinner is Tuesday is chicken pot pie with salad don't go but we are we are doing it we are we, we're doing the freezer cl uh, ch challenge clearance thing not really a challenge because we're getting the new fridge freezer uh, so we just the challenge is to empty it out before we have to discard things for when we have to defrost the freezer so that is chicken pot pie made with aldi tinned chicken supreme and salad what is up? It is Wednesday. I've just finished work and I've just had some Amazon parcels as well. Um, and I'm about to cook some dinner for us. Um, we are still going for our freezer, working away. I think I've got salmon tonight. Um, but I'm also going to show you my Amazon packages. I don't even open them yet. In case you're interested, you might not be. If you know who's like me, you might be. Um, if you're not already, press the subscribe button, by the way. I've got loads more keto content coming up. But I'm going to show you what I picked up from Amazon. So I've got, I picked up another bagel mould because I'm going to be um, making um, some more keto bagels and egg, um, egg fast donuts. But I've only got one mould at the moment, so I wanted to buy another one so I can double do double batch and then obviously freeze them. So I've got one of those. That's actually from eBay. It was cheaper than Amazon. It was like £3 off eBay. Picked up some workout gloves because the gym's open next week. Mine are a bit crispy and a little bit sweaty feeling, so I thought I'd get myself some new ones. Um, the reviews are positive on Amazon. Um, I think it's about seven pound eighty or something like that. I like the ones with the little leathery bits on there for grip, um, but they're not completely leather all over because I find that I stretch them and they end up sort of pulling between my fingers and I get that wrink. They all wrinkle up. 
So I've grabbed these guys for next week when the gym reopens. Very boring, just one of these air freshener jobbies because I struggle to find them in the shops and I get confused in the shops because there's, there's Glade and there's Airwick and we both don't fit in the same machine and I was buying, up buying the wrong one, so I bought it from Amazon. And this might be a bit controversial. Um, I wanted a teeth whitening kit. Um, the teeth are okay. There's no, I, think I, I, get, I go checkups. Never used to when I was younger. My teeth are not the best. Um, I wanted a little teeth whitening kit to give myself a little bit of a pep. And this was on a lightning deal um, from Amazon. The reviews are very positive. And you can get like 10 doses, I think. Um, and you can buy refills for the little gels and put it in your mouth and all that stuff. So I've already won a Paul's ordered one as well. I think full price is 25 quid. I got it on a lightning deal for 18. Um, but this is like quite a good brand. If you're not interested, I'll leave you a link below if you want to take a look. Never tried it before. But the review, I think it's like 7,500 reviews and it's got four stars. So, or four and a half stars. So the reviews seem very positive on this. But I just felt with summer coming... Um, I might be people in and seeing people, so I want to get my eyebrows done. I want to do get my little bit of teeth whitening done. I'm going to get my do my colour in my hair, get a trim, do some stuff that makes me feel good. So I thought I'd buy this little kit as well. Anyway, I'm going to get on with my dinner and show you guys what I'm cooking. So this is today's collection of strangeness. I've got this salmon from the freezer from obviously a yellow sticker from a couple of weeks ago, red sticker. Um, peri peri salmon. I didn't realize it's actually quite carby. There's like six carbs in there, I think. Yeah, that's, that's quite carby because of the peri peri dressing, but there you go. Um, I've also got some celery, a little bit of lettuce. Looks very sad. Grab some jalapenos because I've got kind of obviously a little salad thing going on there. I've also got this guy and this guy from a Crave kit um that i got a few months ago i think it's about three months ago um so yeah coconut bacon um and some olives so it's gonna be a bit of a strange one but there you go more stuff gone from the fridge and the freezer and the cupboard and there it is it looks a bit wacky and a bit wild the salmon doesn't look great um but i've got some more of this nando's perinase this is peri peri salmon so perinase um mayo and these are the olives and the bacony, coconutty things. So there you go. So it's Thursday. We're at that final furlong of food. I've got one of these guys from the from the freezer. Just some just pre cooked chicken from Aldi, obviously unreduced. And I've also got this homemade barbecue sauce. So all I'm going to do is going to pop it in the oven for that like 25 minutes. Paul's got a micro curry meal thing. I'm going to pop it in the oven just to warm through with a couple of tablespoons of the barbecue sauce all over it. Just a barbecue chicken. And I've also got these um, halloumi patties. They're Mediterranean style halloumi patties from the Oana Martina as Mediterranean cookbook bonus. So I'm going to have these and that. And I might have a little rummage to see what else I've got to go with it. Things I've got today. My... Um, solar powered water fountain has come today so it's a bit the weather's turned unpleasant again so i'm not gonna unpack that yet and we also got a little gift box that's our my old cat marge and me having a cuddle uh, like a little gift box for gardeners and i thought it was really cute so i've got this to have little little nicky nacky things to hang up and a gnome for the garden there you go <laughs> he's the weather gnome so i'll put him outside this as well that's very true and I've got some radishes, which are very keto-friendly. So I've not had much luck with planting radishes. I'm going to give them another go this year and see how they go. Quite good because what you do, you can lay um, a crop of them. And then two weeks later, play and lay another crop and get them on a rotation. Um, and you can use them in baking and curries and, and stews. And they're really, really low carb. And you can roast them as well like potatoes. So they're a good one to grow if you are going to do grow your own. And here is what I've got. I've put these a bit crispy but i don't mind so much and there's so much meat there i'm not gonna have anything else with this at all just for this lot what's up my friends it is friday finish work yay um hope you're doing all right um i'm just gonna put out my garden things in the garden i've got it in my little gifty box which is very cute um it is so it's about six o'clock um i'm not had dinner yet i'm waiting for paul paul's actually at the hospital um nothing mega mega he basically got an ear infection and because paul's got hearing aids he gets them quite frequently and and that's how actually how he lost his hearing he got a he ear infection when he was in his 20s and then basically when he recovered he had hearing loss and it's been that way ever since so when he gets them we don't want it to deteriorate any more than it is so we got quite careful with it because of the pandemic he's been ignoring it i said no no more we need to do this so he ran the doctor they was like no can't help you go to the walk-in centre. So I went to the walk-in centre after he's finished his work and he said, no, I need to go to A&E. 
accident emergency for an ear infection, which is a bit bonkers to me, but there you go. So um, he's at the hospital in A&E waiting for us to see someone just to get some antibiotics. And all he wanted was, he's had it before, um, he's in, ignoring it for about two months, which is no good. So I'm waiting for him to come back. Then I'll be doing dinner. It's our last night of freezer clearance and we literally have cleared the freezer this is the light well, the timing was impeccable it was really good so we've got a ham and eggs and um, paul's having chips with his today i think and we're just waiting for him to get back and i'll start doing that um and i'm just getting a head start on all my housework for the weekend because i'm sure like you i do my housework at the weekend because i don't like doing it in the week so i've got a load of laundry in a bed linen's been changed i'm pottering around having a potter picking bits of stuff up just getting things back in their places um and i'm gonna do the bathroom in a minute Wait for Paul to get back. I also had a delivery today. New keto snacks from Slimfast. They've launched Slimfast um, peanut butter cup stock and milk. And I've got a couple of boxes of those. I'm going to be doing a review video for you guys. Let you know what I think of them. Uh, spoilers, they're delicious. Um, and I'm scared. Um, so yeah, delicious. But yeah, I'm doing a review video of those with um, a uh, ketone test of those as well. And that's pretty much where I am. I will show you guys what's cooking when I'm cooking it. So it is, it's half six actually. So it's already been two and a half hours. Two and a half, three, three and a half hours. It's been three and a half hours now. So hopefully not too much longer. Good, you know, praise the NHS. It is amazing. It's just a little slow. So, but we, I am very grateful that yes, they do a cracking job. So I don't complain. But yeah, I'll catch up with you guys in a sec when I'm cooking our dinner. Excuse the washing machine, it's just finishing off its second load, bless it. Always on the way home, so I'm going to start on tea. Now this is what I picked up in Aldi over the Christmas break. I, I bought a couple, couple of, one more of these and a different one. The other one was really good. The one that was like this, I didn't really enjoy it. There was something odd about the texture. Um, so what I'm going to do, I think it was just tasted a bit too wet. And all I did was defrost it and eat it. I didn't do anything with it. So what I'm going to do with this guy... I'm going to cook chips for Paul for his dinner. He's having chips with his ham and we're having this uh, fried egg, ham and, ham and eggs. Um, but I'm going to put this guy in the oven as well, just to cook through, take out any moisture and see if that improves it. I'm not confident that it is going to. I'll probably put some foil on top of it just to keep it warm. Uh, too dry, get going from too dry. But that's what I'm having for tea. And here's mine. I've got my ham from the oven and Paul did me a couple of fried eggs. Um, for me to have, so I'll be having that with a little bit of low sugar ketchup. And once this is gone, I've got the hunter gatherer ketchup, I think, in the cupboard to use up. Well, it's Saturday, and um, we are getting the house ready to get our new fridge and stuff. We popped out to the shops to get some lunch, and um, I bought some strawberries for the garden to put in. I've got a couple of varieties, and you know, when these start popping out in the summer, I'll be making um strawberry um fat bombs cream cheese fat bombs and i'll be baking uh, little muffins as well with my crop hopefully fingers crossed so watch this space for these straws well it's saturday and we've been waiting all day it's 10 past six we're waiting for our fridge to be delivered we're hungry and we've gone for the arches i have as you can pork in a test when i'm hungry i'm very angry I'm not, I'm not I'm not a nice person. <laughs> um, so I've got two bunless triple cheeseburgers and a bunless quarter pounder, double quarter pounder with cheese, I think it is. But I'm so hungry, I'm going to kill someone. Good morning, good morning. It is Sunday. It is grocery days. Also got our new fridge day. Let me tell you about the fridge. 9 p.m. Oh my god, last night. Oh, so tired. Finally came, got it plumbed in, it looks good. I'll show you because some, some, one of my lovely subscribers, I think it's Pamela, said, I don't think they've ever seen your fridge. It's always been here. I just never showed it to you. So let's show you my new fridge. Well, I'm reflecting in it, which is annoying, that it's a uh, cat's. Cat's. Um, it's got a new black fridge, basically. Um, it's a fridge. I've got some stuff in it from what we had carried over. Loads of, loads of condiments. <laughs> Shopping is due shortly, but as always, they have substituted out most of the stuff that we wanted is really bad this week i'm going into the store anyway just to take a look that's our new fridge this is a bico something or other can't remember it's got one of these water doodahs i've not tested it yet you put your whole thing underneath it but it's not from the mains it's from um a refillable water tank so it might be a bit of a novelty we probably won't use this all the time but maybe in the summertime we'll use it but we're going to do a little test on it but that's the state of my fridge you've got lots of condiments and things pop obviously um and there you go so we have got a new fridge a new freezer lovely 
very good. But once we put ice cream in it, I put ice cream in it. And we also got, I'll show you this as well, a uh, new kettle and new toaster and they match. I've never been that guy before to have matching things. Um, oh, I don't know, I've got the water in it, so I best not do that. Um, so yeah, we've got a toaster for chaffles and toast and things and a new, lovely new shiny kettle. And here we are with this week's groceries. It's a bit of a weird one this week. So this was, I think, £83, something like that. It's quite a good amount of here, but not the stuff I wanted. Um, they had no litter, and they had no mucker for Paul, and they had no pop. That's it. So I'm, I'm going to go back in the store, because I really need litter. So, um, hey, Mabel. Yeah. Um, so I need to go back in the store anyway. Um, and yeah, so I'll be going that in a moment too. But anyway, let me show you what I've got for this week's groceries. I'll start with the keto end and then, then Paul stuff because I do live with my partner, Paul, bless him. He's a good egg. Um, I've bought a jumbo pack of chicken breast. I think this was it one and a half kilos, 1.6 kilos. So, um, I will split that up into packs and then I'll freeze them in sections. I prefer that than buying the frozen chicken breast. I find they're too watery. Um, and this is cheaper generally cheaper for me um i spot I, i'd like to think the frozen are cheaper but they're not got eggs for the week sour cream and regular cream for coffee just got some pe pizza pepperoni paul's, i'm playing Fortnite, and paul's taking over for me while i do my video a jumbo um load of hellman's just put one in some oh that's not for me that's for paul um that's more for the kittens really but we'll see just for snacking on it is i'm actually having a carnivore ish week next week so um i'll be doing that so plenty of proteins here um i've got this turkey thigh joint which i've never i think i've ever had before but i think i, had, I think i have had it once and it was really like stringy um so i didn't enjoy it so i'm going to put that in a slow cooker for the rest of the day and just shred it off the bone and have it i think as a snack um it's three pounds so we'll see how that turns out a couple of mozzarella balls and some philly Loads of sausages, Paul will eat these as well. So I think I'm gonna ask him to cook them for dinner. <laughs> He's got finger buns, so I'll have some sausages, either stout tomorrow, but I like them anyway. Got some nice steaks, these are really good, but these are only like three pounds, they're really good value. And again, Paul and I can both have those, so that's handy. Um, and I won't be prepping them. And these, I completely forgot these were a thing. Um, they're like burgers of a, in a different shape kind of thing, but um, they are not point less than half a car each yeah so they're very good and again paul can have this if he eats it makes it a bit more convenient that we can both eat together he likes red meat and i don't buy a lot of red meat and i should because it's you know he likes it um almond milk the cheapest one this week was this one um so i've got that for my drinks for the week and big pack of bacon so i can have bacon egg i can have my proteins i'm gonna look when i go to the supermarket in the, momentarily i am gonna be on the lookout for more protein for the week possibly a piece of um beef or something like that maybe lamb let's have a look and this is poor stuff so you don't look don't look i got in these i used to, when i used to do weight well low calorie i did low calorie diet before i lost loads of weight in it but um i kind of got like a bit of an osteoporosis problem um and i was always hungry i got in these to try i had these used to eat these before he and i thought oh he might like these because he likes chocolate pudding also got some cakes which they got squashed in transit and this very nice looking lasagna. How nice does that look? Mm. And just some stuff I like to have with chips and then some chips. Loaf, pizza, some little naan, which we keep in the freezer. They can go straight in the toaster and it's really helpful. And some pie, which is a pork pie of an egg in the middle. Yes. Same for sandwiches. Um, finger rolls to go with those sausages, which I think are probably going to be tonight. But some of these guys, he really likes these. And I've never really get them. Mints and stuff, uh, Harry Bobs. Loads of these because we run out. And one of these guys and um that is as you my my regular regular viewers would know that is not a pop offering in this house at all so not good we asked for we, we originally wanted i think seven of these and they gave us two and then five sugared ones so that had to go canned back we asked for pe regular pepsi max in this size but all didn't have any so they we got substituted down to these and then they didn't have any we had one out of ten and they gave us these weird uh, and toilet paper so that's in a lot of things, 80, I think it's 82 pounds, something like that. So that is this week's delivery. And now I'm gonna go back into store and buy some more stuff. So I'm gonna put this turkey in the slow cooker. I'm gonna be using paprika and I just grabbed this garlic and herb seasoning. I thought I'd give it a try. I'm just gonna leave this guy on for like five or six hours 
um, and that's going to be a couple of meals for me. I didn't realise it's actually quite carby uh, turkey. I guess it's based on the feed that they um, give the turkeys. It gets permeates the um, meat. Well, I'm off to the shops. I really didn't want to go out today either, but it's a really pleasant day walking through the park, which is always not, always a bonus. But uh, I'm going to head in to uh, the retail park and go to Aldi and check out the meat because their meat deals are really good, like the snacky meats. Um, which will hopefully keep me going through carnivore in time and um, Sainsbury's and pet store as always to get my packet and something um, I'm gonna listen to my line of duty podcast which I really like if line of duty fans thumbs up this but yeah um, if, you, if you did like line of duty they've got quite a good podcast to go with it uh, narrated by uh, the caddy and it is quite funny so if you are a line of duty person it's on tonight Go and check out that podcast if you think you're, you're, you're a podcasty person. But anywho, let's go to shops. I really don't want to go today. And I am back from my journey. I went to Aldi, went to the pet store as always, and I went to Sainsbury's. Um, and this is what I got. Um, lots of meats and things. Got some stickers, which is also good. Pet shop, just some of that stuff, just to keep them going. They like this little green one, bless them. It smells like, it's like the seaside, it's like seaweed. Um, Aldi, I've got some bits and pieces. I've got um, some gammon, got some salad on the sticker. And as I'm starting carnivore tomorrow, I'll probably have that tonight with something. One of the many packs of meat here. I've also got some more sausages. I think these are going to be Paul's. And the other packet are going to be for me. I'm going to cook those and have those for breakfast this week, or just for snacks. Grab one of those guys from actually from Sainsbury's. And I've got five of these guys. Look, 30% off. So these worked out at 60 pence. So this is going to be like a daily snackaroo for me. Um, and there's like a carb in each packet, which is not too bad. Also grab some chorizo, pepperoni, more salami and some corned beef. Again, as I am doing carnivore, it's just going to be all about the meat. And then this trimming stuff, which is really good value. And Paul will have that and the kittens will have it as well. And some turkey. So I have a packet of prawns. When I have steak, I might have surf and turf. And I might have some prawns. I might cook that in garlic butter. Um, and have it with my steak and some mayonnaise on the side. Grab some peppers. Because again, Sainsbury's this morning didn't deliver my peppers. They've run out. Weird. Um, and I also got these goujons for Paul, which I'll shove in the freezer for him for when he fancies chicken and chippies. Got some nuts, which are not for obviously next week. Grab one of these from Sainsbury's, 49 pence. And coleslaw kit, which might, Paul might have, I'm not sure. And some bits of Paul, got my ready meal. Got some new sponges, because you can never have too many sponges. And some um, penguins for him. And uh, some pop for us to keep us going, and a mocha for him as well. Um, and I think that is it. Apart from that, uh, winning it for litter, they had two left, I grabbed the two, and that's it. It is bizarre, don't know what's happening. But there you go, I feel a bit more comfortable and a bit more confident for next week now. And there's only a little bit of prep this week, which is really helpful as well. So Sunday afternoon, which is traditionally my meal prepping time. And because of what I'm going to be eating a lot of next week for dinners are um, like cook as I need them, like things like steak and things like that and prawns. Um, and I've also got those many, many meal packs, those uh, meat packs, the hams and things, which are not the most cost effective way to do this. And I think if I do this again, I'd probably give myself a bit more uh, time to, to plan something a bit more frugal but in the meantime I am going to make up some breakfast boxes which is just purely some boiled eggs some sausages and some bacon I'm just going to pop these guys in the oven on some grease proof paper because I stick like bugger um, and I'm just going to boil the eggs up and that's it and while I'm doing that while that's to cook in good luck in I'm going to get some of my seeds in the ground um, and these are things that these are my edibles these are all my herbs and things for next year so I've got my garlic Two lots of chives. We've got garlic chives and regular chives. The garlic chives are really I've grew them last year and they were really nice. You just chop chop them um, and they're just really nice scattered into things like salads. And all this is keto, of course. I've got loads of these little herbs. So we've got parsley, coriander, and things like that. Also got some mint here and I've got some lemon coriander, which again is really nice for um, with on things like salads. Um, I'm stirring into things like um, my herb bakes, like my cheesy bakes in the, for the morning. They're really good and like curries. So I'm just going to get these guys in, potted up and in my little um, cold frame. So they, hopefully they'll start to sprout some seeds. The weather's going to hopefully turn a little bit warmer. Um, but you'll be seeing all this hopefully uh, in the um, coming months growing and eating. Garlic I've never had any um, uh, success with. So I'm going to try one more time this year. It might be another dub this year, but I've got this guy. So... Hopefully, again, I'll be cooking with this um, in the autumn. 
Well, these guys are all in. I got my strawberries I got yesterday, all my seedlings. It, when this is closed up, um, this is getting to about 16 here, which I think is going to be okay just to get these guys germinated. And you know, I'll be eating all this stuff in the summer, and uh, hopefully, you'll be joining me when I do and we'll, we'll get some good recipes together. And that is the extent of the meal prep this week. So we've got breakfast pots for the week. These are about 500 calories. Although I think it's going to be less because of... I don't know if they include the fat that comes off the bacon when they do that. I think they do. Um, so it's probably less. And there's just leftover turkey. I didn't eat it all. So that was pretty okay. Nothing special. But easy enough in my slow cooker. And then I've just got all the different meats. I've got steak and all those things. And see how I fare for the week. I've got tins of tuna. I've got cheese. Um... Yeah, I think that's, I'm, I'm, I'm cautious, I'm optimistic, but we'll see how we go. Well, that's all of my meal prep for this week. I feel very, a bit lazy actually, if not doing as much as I usually do, but keeping it really simple for next week. Lots of just meat, meats, grilled, fried, butter, cheese, and all that kind of stuff. Let me know what's happening with you guys. Let me know how you're getting on below. I will see you in the next video for a weigh-in and I'll keep you fully informed about how carnivore went and what the results before and after were. See what that was like. Have a lovely rest of your week, my friends, and I'll see you guys in the next one.